I guess when I when I drive back up the mountains these days, like it just feels like home, you know. Like you open up the windows and you can smell all the flowers in the air and the the fresh air. It's it's a beautiful thing. Make the place go. Make the place go. The Blue Mountains to me is where I grew up. It's a place that I call home. It's all of my childhood memories. Probably before I moved up there, there was like a lot of kind of artists moved up there in like the 60s, which kind of set up a nice artistic vibe, I guess, in the mountains. It was a nice place to grow up as a kid because it was, you just knew everyone. It still feels like going home. Feeling, I, I know I've got like family up there and I've got old friends and yeah, there's just, Memories. It's like a it's like a highway of memories. It's so easy when you're doing so many gigs all the time to to just get caught up in the lifestyle and the fact that oh yeah this is what I do and I just fly to a different country today and do another gig and do the same thing tomorrow. Then you have to kind of go, oh hang on a sec, now I'm in Los Angeles and like there's people queued up around the corner to come and see us play. Like the last two records for us have really like catapulted us to a whole other level to, to where we've been before. It's so important, I think, going back to the to the mountains to play this gig in Blackheath because it's where we've come from and we appreciate where we've come from and, and giving back to that community. Bringing the gig back to a community hall in Blackheath is like, it's a full circle moment. It's nice to be able to do it for all ages because, you know, being a kid into music and arts in the mountains, you know, there's not a whole bunch of opportunities to go and see live music. To the dance floor. Dance floor. So we wanted to make it particularly special, so we, we sold the tickets just out of Velvet Fog, which is a record store in Katoomba Street. It was a really fun kind of experiment because we didn't want the tickets to be available online and locals missing out on tickets and not being able to get into the show. So it was a kind of experiment to see whether we could keep it local and also if people would actually yeah, venture up to Katoomba to buy the tickets, you know. And it worked and it was great. It sold out in like a, in two days or something. So it was like, yeah, <laughs> they remember us, you know. And we, we're back, we're coming back, baby. I do think about the journey at times, like it's healthy to keep that in your head to um, just remember where you came from. Remember first meeting Doves like in the um, conservatorium, like school band kind of thing. I knew it was a dope piano player and stuff and I was like, dude, I've been making these like, you know, beats and stuff and I played a couple to him and I was like, you should come over. You know, when I first realised that me and Luke had a sound and something that was actually really cool and quality, I was like, man, it would be amazing to be able to go around you know, go to Japan or go to London or America and play shows. And it was kind of just a dream and a, a thought that is that even possible? Because it seemed so far away. Because we were from the mountains, there wasn't record labels in the mountains. You know, when we first started out, we'd all jump in a van and drive for like 10 hours to Melbourne to do one gig for nothing. We'd be staying in some backpackers or at someone's house, like six of us probably sleeping in the same room. It was hilarious and also gross, <laughs> but also mad. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Going back to the mountains to do this show is as important for us, I think, as it is for hopefully the community as well. It was something that we 
for some reason just started talking about doing because we were like, hey, we haven't been to the mountains and done a show up there for like years. Like, what are we doing? Why haven't we done that? Where you're from is so important and these boys hold blue mountains in their heart wherever they go. Can you please make a whole lot of noise? Sing all your love in this room. We don't want to lose that connection with the mountains because it feels like home, you know, and it's like, hey, we, we really need to give back. It's kind of like going to play in front of your family. It's kind of almost easier playing a big show in front of a, a bunch of not anonymous people, but like people you don't know. You, you kind of get nervous before every show, like really intimate shows, like you've really got to connect with each person there because there's no like barriers and there's no kind of euphoria that's associated with like a massive music festival it's a gig in a community hall it involves a little bit more um, of a deeper connection with the audience I feel so I'm really looking forward to that to be able to share it with with some kids who are like into what we do and into like writing music whatever style it is it will be cool for them to hopefully come and and share it with us oh it's sold out baby we're going large in blackheath let's go Hola, how's it going Let's get stuck into this one. Oh!